Good morning. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you. My name is Brendan Law. I'm Senior Vice President Education at GEMS Education, which I joined in April 2018. It's been a great privilege to become part of the world's leading and, and front-running education provider worldwide. Uh, but before I was able to join this wonderful organization and start my career with GEMS, um, I've had uh, an international career which spans back um, to the early 1990s where I, I trained and, and, and became a teacher back in South Africa, which is my birth country. Uh, from South Africa I went on, having been part of a leading school there, um, into Sweden where I set up a small school for the president of Saab uh, Automobile. And then I went on to the UK and I was very blessed in the UK to be part of two leading independent schools, Bedford School followed by Westbourne House and I was able to grow my leadership skills in those two schools and, uh, and, 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 and led in all sorts of different contexts within those schools um, and, and finished off as headmaster of Westbourne House um, and learned a huge amount about leading education in, in those great establishments and also having opportunities to become part of uh, both the maintained sector as well as the independent schools uh, within the UK taught me a really wide breadth of, of educational um, experiences. Then I came to the UAE seven and a half years ago and I set up two leading schools in, in uh, Abu Dhabi. I was very privileged to firstly establish um, Brighton College which was the first branded school in Abu Dhabi and having led that successfully to a, a, a very positive start um, I was then able to lead on the Cranley Abu Dhabi project which has gone on from strength to strength over the, over the last few years um, became a multi award winning school and I was very proud of everything that the team and I were able to achieve there that gave me then the opportunity to, to come to GEMS uh, and um, my role here has opened up doors to multiple opportunities in terms of how we can grow and develop and improve the education provision within the UAE. Uh, and GEMS has got an incredible reach uh, and of course we, 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 we cover schools across the entire spectrum of, of education, multiple curriculum groups, um, multiple styles of education, multiple price points in education as well. Um, it's a very, very exciting, very innovative education company and it's wonderful to become part of that. Um, so what is my role? Well, my role is to be uh, to head up the, the British premium schools within the, 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 the group of schools that GEMS owns and operates here within the UAE. Of course, we're a global company now and we have a, a massive reach. Um, but my responsibility specifically is to bring all of this wealth of international experience that I've managed to gain over many years now, far too many, probably too many, more than I'd like to remember in, in many ways. Um, but to bring that international experience, particularly drawing on the very best of everything that I learned in South Africa, in Sweden and in the UK in leading schools, to bring those qualities of education um, to the schools that I now lead and foster and support here within GEMS. So my exciting role here is to work very closely with the principals on their strategic vision, their strategic direction, and to work with the principals and their leading teams to look at how we can bring the very, very best and the latest technologies, the very best and latest in innovation, and the very best and latest in education practices and pedagogy to our GEM schools, recognizing that in the premium sector, which is incredibly competitive in the UAE, that we bring the very, very best that is on offer. And having drawn on a, on, on a lot of experience and having seen, particularly within the independent schools, where families are paying big sums of money to send their children, parents expect, and quite rightly so, expect to see great value for money. And what is it that we need to therefore identify in order to ensure that we give the children the very best opportunities? Because at the end of the day, it's all about the children. And it's about giving them the best possible opportunities that they can have in life. And it all starts here in schools like the one that we're in right now, Wellington um, Academy El Kale, uh, one, of, one of our leading schools. It's a wonderful school. Um, and within it, um, we have some tremendous children who are gaining the very best in opportunities for their futures. So what is a, a journey within Wellington Al Kale or Wellington International School or Wellington Silicon Oasis or Wellington Primary School or indeed Jumeirah College or Jumeirah Primary School? These are all well-known schools here in Dubai. Um, what, is, what is an education at premium 
quality look like and what is it that we can do? Well, of course, parents expect the very best um, of innovation in education when it comes to things like sport and music and art and drama. And so we're instilling those traditional values, everything that has made traditional education uh, the success that it has been over many, many years. We ensure that we deliver on all of those. Of course, the academic program mostly led through the British curriculum in schools such as these, as you'd expect. British premium schools are going to be about British premium education. But within that context, what is it that can set us apart from the rest of the market and not just offer the traditional values and those elements, but also to go beyond that? Well, there are a number of ways in which we are seeking to innovate and to be bringing the very, very best opportunities for our children. We want them to be prepared for university life. We want them to be prepared for work life. We want them to be prepared in such a way that they are able to cope with this very fast-paced, demanding world that they're moving into. And there are so many ways in which we can do that these days. One of the things that we are very serious about at GEMS is supporting the national agenda. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed brought about a very clear vision and a mandate within all schools for 2021, which was to see the STEM subjects, to see innovation, and to see a drive forward in all of our schools uh, in ensuring that innovation, technology, and the best use of that is alive and well in all the schools within the UAE. And I believe that GEMS is the front-running organization across the entire UAE, if not the world, right now. Uh, and this is something that we take very, very seriously in our schools. And so what you will see coming through very strongly in all of our schools is a number of national agenda items. Moral education, of course, as you probably know, uh, is, is very hot topic at the moment. We want to ensure that all of our children grow up in our schools um, with a very clear understanding of who they are, um, how they fit into the UAE, how they can contribute to the cultural aspects of, of this country. Uh, and also to understand uh, exactly what it is that Sheikh Zayed had in terms of his values and his philosophies. And so we ensure that the moral education program is instilled deeply within our schools as well as within the pastoral communities within our schools. And so we support the children in terms of their personal development in all sorts of different ways. But alongside that community orientation comes this deep desire to drive forward not just traditional values, but also new and independent, innovative approaches to everything that we do. And so within our vast schools, you'll find that there are a whole lot, right, there's, there's a whole lot of uh, innovative approaches being brought to bear in terms of our strategic direction. So here at Wellington Al Kale, for example, um, as you'll see a bit later when we walk around the school, we want to make sure also that our children have the opportunities to grow and develop in new initiatives from the government such as student employability. It's a wonderful new initiative that came out this year where students can actually be employed and earn money as they go about their internship. So the traditional values of things like work experience, which have always been in schools, are there and we will continue to support that. But I love the fact that students can actually innovate and be at school and get involved in internships with companies. Because of GEMS and because of our reach and because we have such a global enterprise as approach to everything that we do, we have groups of people who are specialists in innovation bringing together a warehouse full, literally, of technologies that is all the very latest in cutting edge. We have an organization within us called GEMSX, for example, who are driving forward a number of initiatives um, to ensure that our students then have access to the very latest in technologies. And we have a group in specifically employed to look at student employability. The student employability team then bring that innovation to us as school leaders and we then in turn give those opportunities through our curriculums here to students such as those that are here at WEC uh, and we're doing exactly the same in all of the other schools within the British curriculum group. So we want to make sure that the national agenda is also applied very clearly within our schools 
but with a view of giving our children the very best and, 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 and biggest opportunities to grow and develop their skills. Because at the end of the day, knowledge these days is very accessible. Here we are in the school library. Um, like most school libraries, it has books. Um, we've got some technology, we've got some IT equipment, we've got all those sorts of things. Uh, but the fact is that knowledge is around in our pockets with us wherever we go. We can access knowledge wherever we are. We can get access to this stuff really quickly. What our students need more than that is they need not just access to the latest uh, knowledge, but they need access to the latest skills. And skills is all about cognitive ability, fast thinking, problem solving skills, but it's also about creative skills. We want our children to have creative abilities. We want them to be entrepreneurs. So we have an entrepreneurship program in all of our leading British premium schools. We have ensured that we give these children every opportunity to not just have the knowledge of how to do this stuff, how to utilize the latest technologies. Anybody can use this stuff. It takes a short course and you know how to use the thing. It's much more important that children learn how to code. They learn how to innovate in ways in which they can take technology forward to the next stage. Because the world is actually looking, and this is what Sheikh Mohammed's clear directive to us is, is to make sure that the children that grow up here within the UAE are the forerunning thinkers of the future. And how does all that fit together within the context of a school like this? Well, most important of all, you know, the World Economic Forum last week introduced a staggering statistic that by 2023, 52% of the world's jobs are going to be done by robots. That's a staggering statistic and that's the future, that's what's coming. So how do we ensure that our children then fit into that brave new world that they're approaching? What is most important of all is that we give them an education which also teaches them about themselves, about their personal development, uh, gives them opportunities to grow and develop, um, not just cognitively, but also interpersonally. And I think more than ever before, the interpersonal skills that children grow up and, and, and gain in what is now very much a global community, and Dubai is a fantastic example of cosmopolitan life at its very, very best. Based on His Highness Sheikh Zayed's vision, this is a community that fits together and works together over 200 nationalities in a very peaceful, cohesive and tolerant way. I was at an event just last week with the Minister of Tolerance, uh, His Highness Sheikh Nakhian. And when you look at the way in which this country leads the way in the thinking of tolerance and mutual respect and understanding and working together in collaborative ways, that's the future for the world. And our children in our leading British independent schools here within the British premium schools within the GEMS network, our children are being given those skills through the sport and the music and the arts and everything else that we do. So you can see that it's so important that we blend the traditional with the very latest cutting edge technologies and we bring those together and we fuse them as one so that our children have all of the skill bases that they need. And I applaud His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and his initiatives for the Moral Education Program which we of course also bring into our schools here. We want to make sure that that program is there because it teaches the children core values, interpersonal values, collaboration values. It also teaches them to understand the very best in what the UAE stands for. And it has a wonderful culture and a wonderful heritage. And so our children can draw down on all of that as well within each of our schools. And so that's where we're going. That's, that's what we're doing together as a unit at GEMS. We think that that is the way forward for the future. We think it's important, really, really, really important for the future of education that we instill all of those core values. Do you know, I think that um, education is the most privileged and wonderful profession. Um, I've been very blessed in my, in my career um, working with leading and wonderful people. Um, and of course, as I've often said, Teaching is the profession which creates all other professions. It's really, really important that people understand the values of, of teaching and the value of teaching. And I would encourage any of your viewers to get involved in education in one way, shape or another. My career started, I, I knew at the age of 16 that I wanted to be a teacher. I, I grew up um, in South Africa, as I said before, um, and I was involved actively in a church and I was involved therefore also in, in some youth programs and, and leading Sunday schools and things like that. And I discovered that actually I could connect very, very well with children. 
children have always been at the heart of everything that I've done. I've always put children first in everything that I've done. Um, and so the first bit of career advice I would give to anybody getting involved is to be really passionate about putting children first in everything, that you want the very best for those children, that children must be at the heart of everything that we make. Every decision that we take within my group of schools uh, here at WEC, uh, but also in, in every one of the premium schools is about what is going to give the children the very best education opportunities. So first and foremost, most important thing, put children first in everything that you do if you get involved in education. Um, Another mantra that I've always lived by, uh, in, in, in my leadership particularly, is that I've always said in, in leadership contexts, from way back when I was still in my early 20s, um, I've always lived by this, that I will always put people before paper. Now that gives you an indication of how long I've been involved in education, because uh, back in the 90s, uh, there was no such thing as computers in those early days, and so nothing was on technology, it was all about paper. But my mantra was essentially, I will always see people before I sit down and do the paperwork that is needed or send the emails as things grew and, and developed. And that is still true today. So when we have meetings, um, you know, one of the things that drives me um, frustrated um, is when these small screens dominate our lives to such an extent that when we go to restaurants, we see families more engaged in, on their phones and, and, and communicating with people outside than the very people in front of them. Here you are in front of me. It would be incredibly rude for me to be sitting on my phone right now. Um, so people before paper, I think, is an important thing. But also in the context of what we're doing, having meetings face to face rather than sending emails and having the, the interpersonal thing. If robots are going to take over 52% of the jobs by 2023, then one of the things that's really important is that we as humans remain human and that we always maintain our ability to communicate effectively. So I think that's also a really, really important component. And then the third, and third bit of advice that I would give to anybody getting involved in education is always connect yourself with the very best and leading institutions that you possibly can. Throughout my career, if you look at the history of the schools that I've been involved in, well over a thousand years worth of education connected into some of the top school education systems that I've ever been involved in. Um, and I was always advised to be involved and to hook up with top schools. So I've always done that. And of course now I've come to the leading education provider worldwide. So at the pinnacle of my career, you might say, um, I'm honored now to be part of GEMS. Because, so thank you so much again for the opportunity of being with you. And, and I hope that your viewers enjoy watching and uh, I'd be delighted to hear from any of them. And most importantly, I would be thrilled to have the opportunity to show your viewership around our schools and to have a face-to-face -face time. Uh, I promise I won't go anywhere near my phone. I'll be with them forever.